by there no help at all. Which way now? I guess we'll try a different way. Albon! Albon for the V Square! One stop only! Shane's there for the Queensburg Express! All aboard! Tickets, please! Just a minute. Come on, kids, you're holding up the line. Come on! All aboard for the V Square! Have your tickets ready! Last train leaving today! Express to Queensburg! Look, kids! I can't seem to find my ticket! She doesn't have a ticket! End of the line! Please, I have so little time before I have to get Look, home. kid, I can't make any exceptions. You're not special. I heard you may not even exist. Everyone needs to have a ticket. Where can I get one? Ticket. Tickets for sale. Get your ticket. How fortunate. One way at round trip to the fifth square. One way to the fifth square, please. How much is it? How much you got? Nothing. All righty. Here you go, miss. Have a nice trip. Heavens, that's a big ticket. Here you are, sir. All aboard. Square. Now, to your right, you can see the ancient ruins of the White King's Castle, captured by a rook in the 36th move of the game. Please remember to stay as a group, everyone. Now, further along the road, we will be coming up on the spot where a great battle was held between three knights and a bishop to protect the White King from capture in the 58th move of the game. No! No! Oh. Are you all right, my dear? Yes, Your Majesty. Are you sure? Yes. All right. Very good, then. Where's my shawl? Oh. Here you are. Thank you. Am I addressing the White Queen? Well, if that's what you call addressing, I've been addressing myself for the last two hours, and every single thing is crooked. Dear me, what is fearing? <laughs> Let me help. It's been a day. Oh, I can't get my shawl on right. And my mirror won't look at me right. It just won't Here you are. You look rather better already. Do I? Really? You look positively regal. Well, thank you. I'm supposed to. Why, you must be my new pawn. Yes, my name is Alice. So very pleased to meet you, Alice. Why, you've done rather well. You're at the fifth square already. Three more and you'll be a queen. That is, if you don't give up. Oh, don't you worry. I never leave a game unfinished. Good. I can be so hard by myself. And the Red Queen can be so very testy at times. Oh, oh, my finger's bleeding. What's the matter? Did you cut yourself? No, not yet. But I soon shall. Oh, how do you know that? It's one of the troubles with living backwards. You remember things before they happen. Living backwards? I've never heard of such a thing. Yes, you have. I just told you. So you mean to say you haven't cut your finger yet? No. When do you expect to? When I go to close my shawl again. See, there's a pin in it. And when I go to close it like this, ow! Oh, dear. See, I told you. Now you understand the way things happen around here. It's very hard to believe. Is it? Try again. Take a deep breath 
and shut your eyes. Deep breaths. What's going on with the little human? She doesn't understand the way things happen around here. All right, now do you believe it? It's no use trying. I can't believe in impossible things. I dare say you haven't had much practice. When I was your age, I believed in impossible things for half a day. Why, I sometimes believed up to six impossible things before breakfast. You must remember, Alice, as impossible as things may seem, in your dreams, anything's possible. Can a camel live in Alaska? No. Can a palm tree grow in Maine? Of course not. Can a surfer surf in Nebraska? Hanging ten down a country lane? I don't think so. Can you dig for clams in Montana? What? Can a cactus grow in Vermont? No way. We're here to tell you it's possible. You can always dream what you want. Can the moon come out in the daytime? Can the sun come out at night? Can you sing and dance on a rainbow? If you wish with all your might. Can you reach the stars in the heavens? Can you sail upon the clouds? I tell you truly, it's possible. If you only say it out loud, anything's possible. in your heart, just trust in your heart. Well, I must be off now to look after the king. He can't move as well as I, and I'm constantly running around Am I going my way? Your majesty, goodness, how fast she moves. Well, whichever way I'm going, I am meeting some very interesting people. Please stay close, everyone. I do not want to lose anyone else. Quiet, please. We are entering a quiet zone. Now, the next place we will be visiting on our stops for today is the Great Wall. Now, Monsieur Dumpty has promised me that we may have a glance of him. If we promise to take no photos and that we all whisper in his presence. We will now take a 10 minute break for refreshments. Thank you. Shh. What was that? Shh. What's crushing me? Oh, sorry. I didn't see it. Obviously. Why? You're, you're Humpty Dumpty. Obviously. What are you? I'm a pawn. I can't believe I'm actually talking to Humpty Dumpty. Yes, the Humpty Dumpty. Well, How exactly like an egg you are. It's very provoking to be lacking to an egg. I'm sorry, sir, but I don't know what that word means. If you don't know what an egg is, why'd you call me one then? No, the other word. Provoking? Hmm, provoking. Adjective. That which angers or irritates. Shall be plain with young miss, it's irritating to be lacking to an egg. I only said you look like an egg, sir, and some eggs are very, very pretty, you know. <laughs> and some people have such little, little sense, you know. Now, state your name and business. My name is Alice. It's a silly name enough. What does it mean? Must a name mean something? <laughs> of course it must. My name sounds like the shape I am, and a good, handsome shape it is. Why, with a name like yours, you could be any shape at all. Why do you sit out here alone? Because there's nobody with me. <laughs> you didn't think I know the answer to that one? Ask another. Don't you think it'd be much safer on the ground? <laughs> what tremendously easy riddles, you ask? Of course I don't. Why, if I ever did fall, the king has promised me with his very own mouth to send, send all of his horses and all of his men. Exactly so. I'm one who has spoken to a king I am. And to show you I'm not proud, you may shake my hand. What a pretty tie. Uh, thank you. It's a, a present from the White King and Queen. They gave it to me as an unbirthday present. I beg your pardon? <laughs> it's not polite to beg. No, I mean, what is an unbirthday present? <laughs> well, it's a present you get once on your birthday, of course. I like birthday. 
birthday presents best. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Don't. Do. Don't. Do. Don't. Do. Don't. Do. <sighs> you don't know what you're talking about, child. How many days are there in a year? 365. And how many birthdays do you have? One. Now you subtract one from 365. What remains? 364. I'd rather hear that done out loud. 365. Minus one is 364, there you are. Mm, that sounds like it was done right. Now, as I was saying, there are 364 days where you might get unbirthday presents. Yes, yes. And only one where you may get a birthday present. I rest my case. Shall I sing for you? No, I was really supposed to get home, and I was wondering if you could Nope, make... can't do it, goodbye. Well, that was rather sudden. Oh, all right, then. if you must sing, then sing the song about you. Oh, no, please, not that song again. But I'm rather fond of that song. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king horses and all the king men couldn't put Humpty together again. Yes, well, the truth of it is, I did get off this wall once, but I didn't fall. You didn't? No, you see, it all grew out of this sense of frustration. Frustration? Yeah, you try being a fairy tale star, sitting up here year after year, and the worst of it is listening to children sing that ridiculous nursery rhyme over and over and over again. I had enough, feeling tough, this egg was getting ready, feeling rock steady, getting in the groove, feeling mighty pumped, and the fact of the matter is, I jumped, I made up my mind Alice, I was leaving this gig, I was gonna be a country star, I was a good egg, but then I done went bad. I can remember it like it was yesterday, traveling on the bus with my manager, Colonel Almond, my band, the Nashville Egg Beaters, and those gorgeous backup singers, the Dixie Chickens. Yes, I've been sitting on a wall, sitting up tall, doing my bit for every cute little kid. Some days I felt scrambled, some days I felt poached, but my sense of dedication was above reproach. I was an easy going, zen flow, and meditating right kind of dude. But I knew if I was gonna break loose, I need a new attitude. And then it hit me, hit me, reared right up and bit me. Good age, but then I done went bad. I was a fine grade A, organic all the way. You never hear me beg, I wasn't egg, egg. And then it hit me, hit me, reared right up and bit me. I should change my occupation before I ended up in rehabilitation. I was a barnyard, two-stepping country fried son of a hen. I was a good egg, but then I done went bad. I was a good egg, but then I done went bad. I'm not an over easy kind of guy. I'm as hard boiled as they come. I made up my mind, Alice. I'm going on the road again. I can see it now. Taylor, Carrie, and Humpty. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I think that's a very good idea. I think that's a very good idea. It's too much King has promised me after all. Please stay quiet, everyone. Remember, the use of recording devices and taking of photographs is strictly pro. What are you doing? This is, oh my. This is supposed to be a quiet zone. Oh, this should not be here. What are you doing here? Message from the king, remember? I'm the king's messenger. Have you seen him by any chance? No. You have just reached the sixth square. Congratulations. Oh, I'm on the sixth square. Only two more to go. Yeah, yeah, congratulations from the king. Yeah, yeah. 
I sent them all, every last one of them. Did you happen to meet any of my mess any of my horsemen, my dears? You came to the woods? Did you? No. 